Hello and welcome back everyone. I know that that might have been a bit, I don't know, I might have said hello before I actually pressed the recording button, but that's fine. Okay, so today we're making a little bit of a run for the car, though he's walking, but that's fine. Get in the car, get in the car, Ethan. Get in the car. What side is the car seat? Uh, it's obviously not this side. Maybe this side? There we go. I love how like, none of them just noticed that he's walked out of his house. Put it in gear. And here we go. Let's start driving. I wish that I could do that, you know, like if you don't go out the front door, you can sneak out the back door. How did he even know where to go? You know, like all he had was a locker ticket, and that's it. Is he tripping out again? <laughs> oh my gonna, god. Gonna have to make it through the crowd. I can't, can't take crowds. Just can't handle it. Why? Why can't he handle crowds? Come on, Ethan, you can do this. So I've actually noticed, like, over the past few days... Too many people. Too many people. Yeah, over the past few days, my upload speeds and my render speeds have actually gotten really, really quick all of a sudden. Like... My render speeds, most of my retro series can render within about 20 to 30 minutes, which is really, really good actually. And um, he must look really weird to people doing this. But yeah, no, and then my uploads, and uh, for my modern day series, it's normally about an hour, which isn't too bad. It used to be like two to three hours that they render. And then my upload speeds have become about an hour, maybe an hour and a half, sometimes even lower, you know? Like, very recent as well. And they used to be like three, four, sometimes six hours, like up to six or eight hours. You know, like for some reason they've just changed, and they're a lot, they're a lot uh, lower now, which is really good. I like it. It means I can upload a lot more videos in one day. Is everyone just like dead now, or what? Oh no, no, not the red balloon. Jason! Oh god. Not this again. Jason! Not again. Jason! Jason! <laughs> no! Dad! Dad, no! Jason! Sorry about that, fella. Alright, where the hell am I even going? Oh, Dad! sorry about that. Oh, sorry, 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 coming through. Sorry, coming through. Jason! Sorry, coming through. Excuse me. Excuse me. Thank you very much. Okay, do we go through here then? Like, we're meant to go to the locker place or what? Dad. Where the hell is this? Oh, okay, he's over there. Jason! Are we meant to just, like, follow him around? Sorry, excuse me. Excuse me, I'm looking for my Dad. son. Yeah, excuse me. For, uh, sorry. Sorry about that. Oh, shit. So, sorry. Uh, you seem to be collapsing there. You may have a problem. You don't want to get that uh, sorted out. Jason! No, stop, Jason! Stop right there! I love how you just phase through the people, you know? They're just whacking everyone in the face. Yeah, he definitely looks like a freak to other people. I mean, if I saw him, I'd be like, um... Okay, there's a bit of a weirdo over there, but that's fine. I'm guessing he got through the crowd then. Why do you need subtitles for that? Luggage lockers. They've got subtitles for a written word that you can clearly see. How does that even Line make sense? 18, box number three. Oh shit. No, 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 no. What are you doing? Get back in there, you silly bastard. Line 18, box number three, huh? All right. Wait, where's her? 1, 8, 2, 12, 13. I'm guessing we go this way. 13, well, it's 13. 6. Oh, shit, this is confusing. 
six. Uh, can we change the camera angle? Okay, here we go. Oh, here we go. 18, 18. Box number three. I'm so glad I don't have to enter a code. Like, he's doing it for me. What's inside the box? Or in this case, the locker, but that's fine. I bet you it's gonna be like the same shit that was in the other guy's box. I mean, so far everything's been the same. I don't see why he'd change it. Same shoe to like the same sort of shoe box as well. I'm guessing he doesn't want to go back to his house because of all the people outside, so I'm guessing he's checked into a motel. Well, let's find out what's in the box anyway. No, 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 don't sit back down. Lazy ass. Let's find out what's inside this box. Anything of major importance? A gun. Really? gun, a phone, and a bunch of origami figures, I guess? Are you prepared to show courage to save your son, Joe's Garage and Parking Lot 4988 Roosevelt Avenue, Lexington? Interesting! Most interesting indeed. I wonder. What about this? It looks like a little Game Boy cartridge. Oh, it goes in the phone! Oh, okay. We don't have those, do we? I mean, we have like little memory cards that slot in, but that's like underneath the cover. It's not at the bottom. Help! Dad! Sean! Where are you? I'm so cold! Dad! Dad! It doesn't sound very distressed. How far are you prepared to go to save someone you love? Man, that is harsh. What is this, like, saw? I mean, come on. Five origami figures. Each figure is a trial. Each trial provides letters. The letters reveal an address. Holy shit, man. It's, this reminds me a lot of, like, you know, saw. He's going to take the gun. Really? I mean, would you really need that? Alright, well, let's hide it underneath the bed. I don't want to put it back on like the, the top of the table there. So we're about to be tested, I guess. Man, this game's getting tense. Very, very tense. I've unlocked a new bonus! Again, really? I'm unlocking bonuses like left, right and centre in this game. I'm guessing we're going to play the part of this guy. Bl uh, no, what's his name? I, c I keep forgetting this guy's name for some reason. Hey look, VIP. Wicked! Yeah, I keep forgetting this guy's name, I don't know why. Lucky Locker! Random trophies Killer are always white, welcome on this age channel. between 30 and 45. He doesn't act on impulse, but plans his crimes in a very meticulous fashion. He doesn't have anything personal against the victims. That's why he covers their faces with mud, to make them anonymous. Why does he kill them if he doesn't have anything against them? For him, they're more of an image, a symbol. That's probably why he gives them an origami figure and an orchid as gifts to apologize for what he's done to them. Very interesting. And where does all that get us? The best way of tracking a predator is to be familiar with his behavior. 
That may be true in novels, but there's a child's life at stake here. Continue, Jaden. One detail attracted my attention. The interval between the time when a victim disappears and the time when the body is found ranges from three to five days. But the rainfall is always at six inches, give or take 10%. What on earth does that mean? All the victims were drowned in rainwater. The killer kills only in the fall when there is plenty of rain. It could be that he puts them in some sort of well or tank that is open to the skies and that fills up with rainwater. The more it rains, the less time the victim has to live. Then I studied the geographical distribution of the murders. Generally, a killer commits his first murder near to where he lives, so he has a safe place to flee to if any complications arise. The more confident he becomes, the further he roams from his base. By analyzing the locations where the victims disappeared, I was able to isolate a zone where the killer might live. And, and what size is this, uh, zone? For the moment, about 10 square miles. Ah, oh, great. There must be 10,000 people live in that sort of area. You gonna question them one by one? It may not give us the address of the killer, but at least it's something to go on. Blake, if you've got a better plan, I'm willing to listen. Don't be shy. I'm all ears. So what's next? There are two suspects whose psychological profile might fit and can be connected to the comfort zone. I'd like to question them. God. Damn it. We're wasting our time with this bullshit. The killer's out there somewhere, and we gotta get off our asses and find him. The killer is no ordinary murderer. He is intelligent, organized, and methodical. You won't find him by patrolling the streets. Tell me, Agent Jaden, did you get your fast experience on the job, or did you just fucking read about it in some school book? I came here to find a killer. And that is exactly what I'm gonna do. With or without your Fucking help. Fucking asshole! That's enough! You said it took six inches of rainfall before the victim died. How much time do we have left? If the weather forecasts are right, less than 72 hours. Oh shit. I'm guessing Blake doesn't like us very much. I mean, what the hell have we done to him anyway? No answer. We waste our time coming here. Maybe we should have a little look inside anyway. There's nobody home. That's a big stream. I'm not sure that's entirely legal. Call the cops. Holy shit. This guy's either very Looks religious like Williams or very fucked religious up. religious guy. He's a God-fearing idiot waiting for the end of the world. We questioned him a few months back because he was causing a disturbance in the park. He was ranting and raving. Said he heard voices. Had this idea in his sick little head that I was the Antichrist. I had come to Earth to persecute him. Real twisted. Maybe you are the Antichrist. How do we know? I mean, he seems like a pretty big arsehole anyway, so he could be the Antichrist. There's Jesus! Okay, nothing much in there. Let's find out what's in this room. Holy Bible. Nothing much of interest then. Anything in this f cupboard? I was about to call it a fridge. Whoa, that's a lot of pills. Nothing much about the bed. Looks pretty uncomfortable though. Writing on the wall. 
Okay. Damn, man, you gotta stop doing that. If there's nobody in, there's nobody in. I mean, what doesn't he understand about that, you know? Oh man, is this gonna be like one of them horror moments where he closes the mirror and then there's like someone standing behind him in the mirror that wasn't there before? I fucking hate that when they do that in movies. I really do. Jump scares out of the shit. That doesn't even make sense. What are we looking at? Oh my god. Is that blood or is that just dirt? I mean, that's disgusting. People these days and how they treat their own houses is really bad. What is with all the pills? I mean, seriously, come on. Okay, let's see. Wait, there was a down thing back here. Right. Okay, then. Uh... It's stifling in here. Those windows haven't been opened in years. Oh, shit. Good timing, Nathaniel. Just the man we're looking for. Angels and ministers of grace defend us. I'm Agent Naaman Jaden, FBI. I'd like to ask you a few questions. As God is my witness, I haven't done anything. I'm innocent. Relax. Nobody's accusing you of anything. We just want to talk. Uh, let's start with the crucifixes. Why all the crucifixes? Are you afraid of something? The hour is nigh, and the wrath of God shall strike men down. I'm preparing for the end of the world. Uh, what's your occupation? How do you work, Nathaniel? You have a job? My sole occupation is praying to the all-merciful Lord for the salvation of humanity. Nathaniel. Do you remember where you were last Tuesday at 4.30 p.m.? Here? I was here. I was praying. All day. Was there anybody with you? No. No, I was alone. What about the voices, Nathaniel? Do you still hear the voices? We know who talks to you, don't we, Nathaniel? Or we both know who talks to you. Don't speak that name. What does he Blake, say to you, Nathaniel? What are you doing? I can't talk about it. You mustn't talk about it. That's he orders enough. you to go and Leave find him new prey, alone. doesn't he? He needs more and more. The hell is he doing? No. No. You mustn't mention him. You'll bring him here. He told you to go and find that kid Are in the you park. Out of your mind? The voice is tormented you all night long. You wanted them to stop, didn't you, Nathaniel? Stop! Stop! That's enough! So you obeyed them to make them stop. You took that boy with you and you drowned him. Isn't that right? No! Stop! Stop! You killed them, didn't you, Nathaniel? Are you gonna confess, you bastard? Ooh. You are the Antichrist. Put down the gun, Nathaniel. I shall Daniel. dispatch you to your father in hell. He is the son of Satan. He was sent to earth to destroy shoot, us. For Christ's sake, shoot! Calm down, Nathaniel. Nobody here wants to hurt you. Put the gun down. Now gently put the gun down on the floor. Team, you shall regret confronting the emissary of the Lord. You shall know divine power! Lieutenant Blake is gonna leave our planet right now and return to the what? realm of shadows. Creature of darkness, I do beseech you to return to the realm of shadows and leave our Nathaniel in peace! Christ all powerful, defend us in our battle with the forces of evil. Protect us from the cunning and wiles of the demon. May God Almighty manifest the power of his empire. And may divine power cast Satan and all the other spirits that prowl the world in search of souls into the darkest depths of hell. Concentrate on my voice, Nathaniel. Listen only to my voice. Back away, slowly.
Now drop the gun. Drop it, Nathaniel. There we go. See, it just takes a little bit of persuasion. You don't need to shoot your a guy. Hands on your head. Turn around. Wait, what the fuck? I... I shot him. Yep. Looks like you did. It was only a crucifix. <laughs> Can't say I'll miss him. <laughs> Come on, let's go. I thought that Blake was doing something, so I pressed the R1 button and I panicked. Oh man, I didn't mean to shoot him. God dang it. Well, at least he'll be in peace now. Alright, well, I'm going to end the episode after this little uh, cutscene. Well, it's not really a cutscene, but this little face showing here, I guess. <laughs> so if you liked the video, please like it. I'd really appreciate it if you would. And subscribe to me if you haven't done so already. If this is your first time watching me, feel free to st stick around, subscribe. And just got a blunder trophy. I don't know what that's for, but I'll check that out afterwards. So next time we'll be going on with Scott Shelby's story, so other than that, all that's to say for me is, hope you're having a great day and farewell! Oh, fuck. Oh, watch out, dude! Oh, shit! Oh, what's the diamond? The dude with the spade! Workers on the road. Dangerous!